Hello everyone, this is Bethro Butkin07, and I am back with some more Clatzel's Palace. In the last part, we finished the hold and started the secret hunt. So now I'm trying to get through here. That's the goal. So I have to break through this and open that. Oh, okay. I think I see what needs to happen. I think. So I get in there. And I have to push both plates at the same time. What? Sorry, that was loud. Uh, but what the heck? How do I do that? Like that requires having something move away. Uh, not necessarily. There's a Mimic Potion. That can work. Okay. It can. Alright, question though. Can, can I... Okay, you're super annoying. And I don't even need you here, so you could just uh, die. Thank you. Alright, Mimics through shallow water. Can they? They can. Okay. Alright, that's all I wanted to know. So now what we need to do is get over here. Set up the Mimic. Oh, okay, wait. No, we need to get here with the room clear. And... Does that seriously mean I have to do this all over again? I don't like that. I don't want to do... I, I really do not want to have to do this whole level again. Just for that one secret. This is ridiculous. That's not very good secret design, you know? Like, enforcing... There needed to be a seating beacon somewhere in here. This was made in the... In the second sky, so... There's not really an excuse. Like, at least to my knowledge, it was made in the second sky. But, yeah. If it wasn't, I guess it's fair. But now, with the standards we have, I just can't really see a good justification for this being that annoying. But yeah, I know what I need to do. The problem is I don't want to do it because it's so frustrating. Alright, so... How do we get back in here again? Well, for one, we get the... Uh, get this over here. Alright. Oh, now let's... Oh, okay. We don't even need to do that. Okay, never mind. Cool. Alright, my complaints were all for naught. Okay. Alright, so now we go over here. Gotta watch out. Yeah, you do. Okay, so... Wait, what? Why did anything get activated there? Oh, this is, uh... Trickier than expected. Okay. What opens this? Oh, that closes it. Mm. Okay. I think I see what I have to do. You could... I think I can place the Mimic there. So, let's do that. Yep, there you go. There's a mirror. Uh, yeah, so, Mimic. Alright. Wanna face that way. There you go. No. There you go. Alright, both of them are closed. So now that lets us toggle this off. Okay, is there anything else I'm not aware of? Is there a black gate somewhere? <laughs> hmm. 
Okay. Now the problem is I can't get both of them over here. <sighs> so. Okay, I... I have an idea, actually, that could break this entire room. Um... So... Yeah, I could break that. Like, the... Oh, the Mimic needs to break that. So... Yeah, oh, that's actually possible. Hold on. Oh, and then this tricks in a way, though. Hmm. Well, if I'm over there, I can toggle which one it is. Oh, and that one's further, though, so yeah, no, it's definitely gonna be this one. Oh, that works. Okay. There you go. That feels horrible. What is this? Okay. So, whatever this is, I hate it. <laughs> is that this person's attempt at making the long uh, one of the longest levels? Is that what this is? The patterns are cool, but that's it, you know? Gotta be careful not to leave anyone behind. It's not a problem, but it could be. I don't know. Alright. Alright. On the plus side, the roaches don't ever really like follow you once you're past them. So I like that. It's kind of cool. It's kind of tedious though. Also, I'm going to bring that back because I turned it off at some point for a video. And uh, yeah, I don't want to do that anymore. I don't want to do that anymore. Oh, are you serious? Southwest. Well, fine. I can go back there, I guess. I mean, you have to you have to go on the way back, I think, anyway. So, yeah. Whatever. Does the brain even change anything? Uh, it kind of does, I think. Because I have to do this. So, yeah, this room is just tedious incarnate. Like, I don't really understand the reasons for its existence. Except to be annoying. Yeah, I'm getting the impression that what I did, though, was an unintended solution. But, I mean, I'll take it, because the alternatives seemed a bit frustrating. Definitely not as frustrating as the concept of having to, uh... Redo, uh, redo the entire back-and-forth level. Which I'm glad I was wrong about, but... Yeah, that specter still looms in my mind, and I don't particularly appreciate it. <laughs> Yeah, it's not it's not the architect's fault though. I was the one who incorrectly interpreted the messages, so that's on me. Okay. Alright. If it turns out you have to be like careful about what you do, I'm gonna be unhappy about that. Because to me it doesn't seem like there's a way to stop the roaches from getting stuck there. 
And honestly, if they're if they're asking me to, I'm not gonna be very happy about that. Okay, stop glitching. Thank you. Alright. Alright, cool. Okay. Uh yeah, right. You have to do that. Alright, and the water skipper nests are gone. And I can do this. Oh, wait, what? Oh, right, that makes sense. Okay. All right, now I gotta go back. Hooray. Let's do the time warp again. Except it's the space warp, or rather the raft warp, or whatever. All right, you better explain yourself, person. I'm not a big fan of what happened here. <laughs> Yeah, that wasn't fun. Not gonna lie. It's, uh, more tedious than needs to be. Alright, what's this? What? Oh, hi. The level you're about to enter through the stairs is all about slaying. If you don't like this, just go back and skip it. You'll miss the slaying, nothing else. Okay. Um. Is it required for 100%ing? It's slaying time, but not just roaches. All kinds of interesting monster slaying rooms with all kinds of interesting monsters. If you don't like slaying, you can go to the level uh, stairs directly and skip the level. Sure. Got a checkpoint real quick. Okay. I will look at that later. Um. What else do we have? Okay, there are no secrets, so I don't need to do this. I'm glad. That was the one secret, though, so I did need to do this, but that's fine. I'm okay with that, I guess. Alright. Five layer sandwich. Yeah, I had a feeling there's gonna be some stuff. And it starts over here. So, yeah, let's have some fun with that, I guess. Alright, let's go. Hmm. Guess I should be here. Well, I don't care, because now we are. Okay, let's do this. So, we're pushing. A fun time for all. Cool. Do I need to be aware of anything else? That's what I'm pondering right now. Mm -hmm. Alright, do I... Yeah, I think I'm going to need to bring that over here. Honestly. Hmm. Okay, careful. Hmm. I might want to do that, though. Yeah, I do. Okay, so. Oh, why does that close that? the heck? Why would I want that? My name is oh, okay. I see. Wait. Ah. Clever. Right, so I can bring that over here, actually. Yeah, I'll be fine. So yeah, I think you have to drown that mirror. And then get this one over here. It's an interesting concept, I suppose. Oh, but then we still have the issue, right? Yeah, we do. Okay. Um. Okay. Now we don't... Re do we need to go in there? No, we still do, kinda. Oh, I can just... Not quite do that? Um, hmm. Alright, what toggles that? This? Interesting. So I might need to... Huh? Oh. Well, look at me being ridiculous. Okay, I know how to do this. 
Um, not quite. No, no, I do. I do. Wait, no, I don't. Uh, what? Hold on. I am confused. I need to get something on there for sure. But, hmm. Yeah, there's no way to, for me to get th uh, a mirror through there. So. Uh, hmm. All right, if I bring the mirror over here, I'm stuck, right? I don't think so. Okay, I'm gonna try it, but uh, yeah. Oh, but I, then I can just bring something over here, right? No, then that'll lock. Um, hmm. All right. I mean, yeah, that part seems about right. So, hmm. Huh. That opens the way there. And now I'm actually going to... Yeah, I'll just bring that one over there. But then I need someone over there. This is complicated. This is actually pretty interesting. Ah. Uh, yeah. I, mean, I should be able to yeah I can get someone through here yeah I can't I can't can I no I cannot hmm <clears throat> yeah because uh, I need to push it to the right and move my sword to the right or move my body to the right into it and I can do neither of those things okay <clears throat> That means that my solutions... Okay, to get something in through here, this needs to be activated. This holds that down. And I can mess with the binary of this. Well, of that. No, I can't. I can mess with the binary of this, though. By doing that. <clears throat> Alright, but then the problem is there's nothing here now. I can go over here. But now I also need to have that uh, left move, and I can't. Oh, but then I can do this. Oh, there I go. There I go, solving all the problems. Uh, or not. Um, hmm. Okay, I think that needs to stay here, right? Yeah, I think I, I think it does. Now, the problem is, whatever move I make needs to be a sword move, you know? Okay, now it's actually stopping me from doing this, though. Well, the fact that all this is in the way. Okay. Hmm. Oh, but then I can just do that. But then do this. Oh, there I go. Solving everything. Okay, that was cool. I like that. I'm not sure I like this, though. <laughs> Decoys. Oh, what is that? That looks like one of those annoying puzzles. So, what am I trying to do? 
The adder will get blown up. Okay. Wait, am I coming in from the top? Oh, I should have come here after I finished. Oh, that's bad. Let me do that. Yeah, let me do that. <laughs> yeah, because now I can actually travel over there. Yeah. Let's, let's just go. I know how to solve the puzzle now, so it's an easy one. Alright, there you go. Let's just solve that again, and then we will head on home. Oh, don't do that. So, shove down. Uh, yeah, shove down. Yeah. Then, do this and that. There you go. Get this jerk over there. Yeah. yeah. Mm hmm. Yep. And now you are coming along for the ride. Yep. Okay. So now you move it off of there. Then you do the dance. Then you push it here. Like so. There you go. Alright. There you go. With all that, now I'm discovering the room in a better state. So, let's figure this out. I have decoys. What exactly am I trying to do? Try to avoid the bobs exploding? Yeah, I think that's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to cut off the fuses. Okay. So I have to place some decoys. Okay, what if I just dunk them over here? What happens? Alright. Okay, I have to time it. Oh, interesting, interesting. I like that, okay. So, this means that for this one, the snake needs to be one, two tiles long. So what we need to do is the fuse needs to be burning here and there, and then the door closes. So we need to be one, two, three turns ahead. So three decoys in a way. I like this puzzle. That's a really good one. Okay, so. I may be called on to shorten the snake, though. That's actually possible. Okay. Let's just put that there. Yeah. Okay. Wait. Okay, it's the turn before, so only two actually. Okay. Hmm. Okay, so when the fuse is on that tile, that's when we want it to go. There you go. Alright, so one more there. After... So here it grows... No, actually one tile after? I think so, yeah. It's like here or like there would be good. Like uh, on the, the tile after, actually. Okay, so that's where the next one goes. Okay, that one goes here. I'm okay with that. Next one will go here. So, yeah. Cool. Okay, we need one more. I think it's gonna be here, right? Now I need the snake. Oh, careful not to face a bad direction. 
Okay. Mm hmm. Okay. We need to lengthen some more. So, by one more, I would say. So, I don't know, here? Probably the wrong place, but... Yeah, that works out. Oh, and now the snake's blocking the way that... Uh... And I know what the other decoys are gonna do. Okay, that's cool. So yeah, we need some decoys to do some stabby stabby. Okay. Which I think means that uh, the way I'm doing things is bad. So I think one more needs to be here. Actually, no. Let's start setting up some decoys here. So. Alright, okay. We're gonna have to do this again. Because I needed to keep the top ones in a good position. Okay, so I need two decoys facing that way and two decoys facing that way. So I have to be smart about how I'm taking decoys. So, yeah. Actually, the first one will go here. There you go. I can probably have... Eh, no. Let's have them here. So I need two here. Let's set one there. Set one more here. Set one more there. There you go. Got it. Okay. Okay, I have to be quick though, because the timing for this is really bad. Um. Hmm. There you go. So now from here on out, we just have to step on one tile each turn. So. I think we agreed. One needs to go there. No, that's, it goes here, right? Like, yeah, that's what we agreed on, I think. Oh, that needs to go here. Yeah. No, that's right. That's where that should go. That one's going to be taking longer. No, if, yeah, I think it goes there. I'll, I'll replace it, worst case. Okay, so. Next ones are like there, I think. Actually, just to be smart, I'm going to be careful about this part, next part. Okay. And I'm one turn short, of course. So I have to be stepping on a decoy every turn. This is ridiculous. Thank you. 
Mm-hmm. There you go. Alright. I really don't know if that's correct. That's a really cool puzzle, though. I'll say that much. I'm enjoying it. Wait, excuse what? Okay, that's... Yeah, that's definitely not where it goes. Yeah, it already grew five tiles, so I don't know why I was thinking that I need to go there. Yeah, I'll be real, the concept is interesting to have to, like, time your decoy placements, but it makes this part a bit more annoying. Yeah, that, that goes here, though. Okay. Last one, and there you go. Now we can start placing them down here. And I think that's it. I hope. Oh, that was a hit too much. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's too too early. We need to be higher, I think. I'll place them as far as I can. On the plus side, you do have checkpoints, so I appreciate that. Okay, I think I need a one more there. Yeah, I need a one more there. So, one here, and one there. There you go. There you go. Almost. What's your deal? Why are you a snake? Hi. <laughs> you certainly are a snake. Wait. Am I supposed to have? Oh no, there's a way to kill the snake. Although I don't know why it's a snake that's in there, but... Oh, so the decoys don't mess with it. Okay. Well, that doesn't change much, but... Okay, so I need to find another place to, to hit the snake. So, it's one, two. Okay, it gets hit. It's just that the decoys don't stab until the turn after. Okay, so did I need to stab it again with the decoy that's there? Well, not really. All this is happening at the right time. If anything, I think I needed an extra decoy to stab it. But I need to shorten it one more. How do I do that? Huh. I don't think there's anywhere in this I could afford to stab the snake again. Like, if I do that... That's gonna mess up the timing, right? Yeah, that just messes it up. Okay. Alright, I know what I have to do. Okay, so... Not only do we have to have the decoy stabbing, but we also need to have... Okay, so that decoy can't go there. Like, we can't have one facing that way. So, 
they need to be all set up in that pattern right here like this that needs to happen so now I don't know, I guess I'll put one here. Yeah, here's where it needs to be. Second one here. Put one here. And now there's one right here that's gonna stab it. I think. There you go. Perfect. That was a good room. Very good room. I like that. I enjoyed it very much. Alright, Snake, get over here. You're a needless complication in all this. And speaking of needless complications, you should start moving to the north. Please. Thank you. Alright, there's a raft to go back. That's good. And I can go that way. That was a good room. I enjoyed that. I think there's still more to this though. Yep, there is. Uh, yeah, I think this video is stretching on, so I will leave that for next time. So, this has been Beast Robot Kino 7 with Clatsos Palace, and I will see you in the next part for more of this. So, until then, as always, have a nice one.